Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to add a uh, discount to your products uh, through the rules. Um, and what this looks like when you view the cart. It actually pops up in your shopping cart, so when there's more than five, you get a $20 uh, dollar discount per item. So that's the, uh, the total cost. You can also do this with uh, price breaks um, through uh, commerce tables. I can't remember what it is. Uh, you can get it. You can figure out how to do the price breaks in my uh, full Drupal tutorial or my uh, commerce tutorials as well if you go to my website. And the price breaks actually end up looking like this. I obviously need to do some updates on this site. So when you add a product, they look like this. You know, you just say 20 bucks for 0 to 5, then add another one, it'll be you know 10 bucks for five then infinity or whatever but we're going to do it this way through the rules and what this actually is it's not a uh it's not a discount it's a, actually a, a tax so this is actually a tax that i made so if you go to your store configuration and taxes here's where the actual uh, discounts are and i had to make a uh, one for a uh, uh, 5 to 9, and then uh, 1 for 10 to infinity. So, let's go to my uh, my fresh install Drupal, and let's get started on this. Alright, so once you're at your site, guys, this is pretty easy to do. Um, but first, let's edit our uh, shopping cart a little bit. I already deleted the price, so you won't have it there. But come up here, and uh, after you view your shopping cart, edit the view. And you want to make this one that is a uh, total. You want to switch it to a uh, components right here. So the formatter you want a uh, formatted amount with components. So we're going to apply that. And then to rearrange these, you just click on that and click rearrange. And I'm going to put my path up here. And we're going to save it. You can get rid of the link in that path too if you want. Uh, by it's no, maybe you can't. Whatever. But so we'll save that. And now we're actually going to uh, configure our uh, rules. So we're going to come to store, configuration, and taxes. But first, we actually have to add a tax type, which is kind of confusing. But So we're going to add a tax type. And for the machine name, I'm just going to call it discount. The lowercase d. And then for the display name, I want you to say discount. Then you want this box checked as well, right here. So then we're going to save that type. And now we're going to go back to our tax rates and we're going to add a, a new tax rate. So we're going to add a tax rate. And I'm going to call this one snake. I just did this and messed up. That's why I'm doing it. We'll call it snake um, 5 to 9 or 5 to 10 discount. It doesn't really matter. And um, then for the uh, what's actually going to show up on the uh, shopping cart, we're just going to call it discount for 5 to 9. And for the rate, you want this to be. Um, in percent, so we're going to take a 10% of whatever the snake costs, so it's 0.1. You want it to be the discount that we just made. You're going to save that, and say, and it's really easy to figure out the uh, the amount you want to discount for things. There's a little formula that you can use. So it's going to be um whatever the cost of your product is. We'll say it's $130 product. So the formula is going to be 135x is going to equal whatever the discount you want to um, the product to have off of each of them if you buy uh, more than five or five or more. So we'll say it's uh, ten dollars off. So let me get a calculator out. So you, to solve that you just do uh, ten divided by 135 and that will give you the percent that needs to come off of 135 to give you ten dollars. So it's a uh, seven point four percent pretty much. So if you did 135 times 0.074, that's 7.4%.
It's gonna pretty much equal ten dollars off. So that's that formula. It's a good. It'll be useful if you need to make percents and different uh, product prices. So now with that snake added, we're gonna configure the component. We need to bring the product into scope. So first condition, we want to say do add this ten percent discount if it has this uh this product. So we're gonna do an entity has field. We want it to be the uh, line item. That way the line items in scope. And then we want it to be uh the commerce product. And we'll say okay. And that just allows us to know that the uh the commerce product is now being looked at. It's a condition that has to be met before uh, before it actually apply the discount. So let's go to our shopping cart, and it should apply a ten a ten percent discount if I update this cart. Yeah, so there's our uh, there's our price, and then there's our discount if you buy more than a uh, five. But since I don't have a uh, conditions that say you know don't do this discount unless you're they're buying five or more. Uh, yeah, it, it applies to everything. So now we need another condition. I named that wrong if you saw it too. It should be uh, 5 to 10, not 5 to 9. So we want a data comparison now. We want it to be the commerce line item quantity. And we're going to say if it's more than 4, so greater than 4, apply it. So we're going to switch to the uh, input mode. I'm going to say greater than 4. We'll save it. So we're going to say, uh, you can either let it uh, go to infinity, or say you want a different one for 10. You just have to do this again and say uh, greater than 9 to just greater than 9. So we're going to do another data comparison. And it's going to be product, line item, quantity. We want it to be uh, less than 11, that way it's 5 to 10. So lower than 11. So we'll save. Now that's going to say, you know, only apply the discount when it's uh, between 5 and 10. So now when we update our card, that discount should go away. Yep, so it went away. But now say um, we put seven in there we update the cart there's my five there's my uh, five dollars off each product so each so I was confused on what was happening but the problem is I told it to take ten, to add ten percent not negative ten percent so we come back here to our uh, store configuration taxes and we're actually going to edit this we're going to edit it to be a negative point one so negative ten percent then we're going to save the tax rate. And now when we update the shopping cart, it should take it away and just flip it around. Yeah, so there it is. So it actually, so here's your, uh, here's what it costs. Here's the discount, and here's what it ends up being after the discount. So let's go and configure our component. And we'll add an elephant to it, but I'm just going to show you that um, without adding a uh, specific SKU component in there, data comparison, this will apply to uh, all products. So add an elephant. We're going to view our cart. And we'll put five of the elephant in there. And then we're going to update our cart. It should take a discount off of there too. Yeah, so it took 10% off of, a, of each product. But... Now, let's say we want to just apply the snake. So we come back here, and we're going to add another condition. The entity already has field, and our products are in scope. So we want a data comparison, and we want to pull the SKU for a specific uh, product, maybe. You're just discounting the uh, snake. So you want the uh, line item, and you want the product, and then you want the SKU. So right there. And then you're going to save it. And mainly it just equals, and then whatever the SKU is. This one's snake 001. Then we save it. The discount should only apply to the snake. And there it is. So now let's say um 
If you buy 10 or more, you want a uh, an even bigger discount. So now we actually have to add a, a new uh, tax. So we're coming to the store. Uh, configuration. And taxes. We want to add another uh, tax rate. We'll call this um, make 10 or more. Then you want it to be um, whatever the tax rate. Well, I'll just say uh, we're going to take 25% off this time. Let's just do 20. Then that'll be at uh, $10 off. And you want it to be negative. Don't forget that. And you want it to be the discount, which is the uh, new type we just made. Then we're going to save it. And this one is just the same kind of conditions. Um, so we're going to configure the component real quick of, of 10 or more. Um, and we're going to. Uh, Bring the uh, product into scope, so we want a entity has field, and it's a line item, and it's a commerce product. We're going to save that. So now we need to um, bring the condition that it, it has that SKU, so data comparison, line item, it's that product, and it has a SKU. It should, just be, it should equal the snake 001. And for the last condition, it should just be a uh, data, data comparison. And then a quantity, and again, it's a line item, quantity. And you just want it to be uh, greater than, we'll say greater than. Greater than 10. That way, it means uh, 11 and up gets um this 20% uh, discount. Oh duh. You have to change this to um direct input and then 10. All right. So now, when you come over here, say you add a uh, say you add a uh, 10 of the snake, or well, it's greater than 10. You're, just, you're still going to get that 5% uh, that off, so it should be a $50 discount. Then we'll add 11. You should be getting 10 per, so it should be a $110 discount. Yeah, so it's uh, so it's uh, pretty easy to do all this. And I hope that makes sense with you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.